Today we are going to make some fruity popsicles with Brutus bone broth. We've got some summer fruits over here. We've got strawberries, blueberries, organic, plain yogurt, and some watermelon. And I'm going to show you guys how easy this is to make. We are going to start by cubing the watermelon and putting it in the blender. Then we are going to take the Brutus bone broth and you can use either the beef or the chicken or you can even do a combination of the two. Shake it, pour it in, I just eyeball it, add the unflavored yogurt and pop it into the blender. We're going to start filling the molds and just be careful not to overfill as you need to leave room for expansion. These are the silicone ones which I find much easier to use. So the next batch is gonna be a very simple Brutus broth base with a touch of the unflavored yogurt and I'm dicing up some strawberries into small little cubes and slices so that I can fit them into the mold. Now we're just adding everything into the blender to get the base going. We've got the yogurt and I use a combination of both flavored broths in this base. Just a quick few seconds in the blender. Be careful to not over mix as you don't wanna to add too much air into the base. So now that we've got the yogurt and the Brutus broth base ready, we're going to fill the rest of the mold. I'm going to start by putting a small amount into the bottom of each one, leaving plenty of room to add in the blueberries and the chopped strawberries that we prepared earlier. I'm going to alternate between each and filling almost to the top, but not quite because we need to leave room for expansion. Now all we need to do is put the silicone top on, put in the wooden popsicle sticks, and get it going in the freezer. While those are setting in the freezer, I decide to take the rest of my ingredients and combine everything into the blender. I'm using the Brutus broth, the leftover yogurt, and the leftover berries. I'm gonna pulsate it in the blender, mix it all together, and pour it into my remaining molds. So since I've got these adorable silicone molds, I've decided to fill them with the leftover ingredients, and I'm going to take these and pop them into the freezer and let them all sit overnight. Oh my goodness, these came out so adorable and the pups can't wait to try them.